Shikamo, welcome to Baraka FM. My name is Barbara Mkala, Operations Manager at Baraka FM. I'm here with a big team from the Baraka FM studios that are entertaining you at this year's ASK show. We reach all the counties in coast, especially Kilifi, Kwale and Mombasa counties, where we've been for the last 18 years. I can say what differentiates Baraka FM from the rest of the stations, especially the Swahili stations in this country, is our programming. Our programming is tailored at the middle age, uh, urban and rural dwellers, but our emphasis is on the urban listeners that live within the coast region. Tiseni inayongoza jijini na mitani. Tiseni na tano nita tano. Baraka FM. Mashika mobado ukunami, jilani ngala na mnyazi kakinda. Over and above that, it's a creative solution that we, are, we have entrenched into our programming. For example, we are able to do a live, live link for an event that is happening anywhere in this county. We've done that for our clients, we've done that for the county government, and many NGOs that come to do events in coast. My name is Rosalind Namai. Uh, I work as the Media Engagement Coordinator at Kemri Welcome Trust. Before we engage with Baraka FM, we did a very thorough procurement process to look for a radio station that will allow us to get to the community that we are looking for and will actually help us to creatively engage this community. And I think Baraka FM has been great, has been key to doing this. Why? Because uh, one of the things that we know is that it's very popular at the coast, it has very strong signals, and it has been able to just internalize and to understand what we are doing at Cambridge. So I think it's a station that once you engage them, once you get them to understand what you're doing as a corporate or maybe as an institution, they're able to disseminate or generally to communicate and engage the community concerning that particular activity. And so for me, Baraka has been quite great, especially when you're doing the radio program. My name is Nico Odek. Uh, I'm part of the creative team. I, I head the creative team. We provide solutions to clients. So what I mean is uh, a client gives us a product, then we help uh, him sell it on air. We are provided uh, a brief of whatever we are supposed to execute, either on air or on social media, or on ground, which is experiential. So we sit, we discuss on how we'll execute it, after that, uh, we put it on paper, then we present it to the client. If the client approves, then the campaign takes off. If maybe he, has, he or she has his own sentiments, so we share, the, we, we, we share our I mean, opinions and feedback, then we revise whatever proposal we have given the client. Then when we get an approval, yeah, now we, we start with the campaign. Sahi ya nendelea, hakikisha kwamba wewe familia yako na rafiki zako mmetembelea kibanda cha ESC cha tume hiyo ili kwa kisa zikomba kwa pamoja unoriza maswali pale ufaidi kuhusu elimu ya kuhusu vita dhidi ya ufisadi na uweza kujilimisha mengi kuhusu lazima hii la vita hivi. I'm Lydia Manyasi, I'm an assistant director in the education, training and public awareness department of the ethics and anti-corruption commission. We have worked for a number of years now with Baraka FM. My contact person has been the lovely Petronila Kwajumbe, and there's a lot of value for money. They sent us a proposal on how to engage with us, and there were various packages that were on offer. We settled for one, and we've gotten a lot of value addition. There have been live links, to the studio and um, I am sure the reach that they say they have, I am sure I record in my reports every month 
that they have a reach of 3 million people, including their social media platforms, you have audience for whatever it is you'd want the world to know. Barakai FM is the station to go for. Over and above that, we have a very active website that has all the latest news. My name is Janet Murikira. I handle digital content, specifically news for Baraka FM. Our website on our website uh, www.barakafm.org. Some of our fans they are able to stream live because once you log into www.barakafm.org, uh, you, you will listen to our radio automatically. So wherever you are in the part of the world, maybe you're in New York, maybe you're in Kampala, maybe you're in Nairobi, because our our frequency is only limited to the coast region. So you find that. Sometimes you'll see, you'll see comments on social media that someone is tuning in from Kampala, someone is tuning in from Kakamega, all because of the website. Since we launched the website, we have had a couple of uh, clients coming on board to advertise on the website. You know, everything nowadays is going digital. So we've also had clients who have uh, who've advertised on that website. We also get money through Google AdSense. So in short, the website is very, it's, it's like our online face, the online face of Barak FM. We have uh, big plans planned for you next year. If you did not participate in this year's ASK show, make a date with us next year. We make our, your stand bigger. We bring you more visitors to your stand. We expose you on air. Even the people that don't visit the show get to know about you. And apart from just being at the showground, we did a road show all over coasts, just creating publicity for the partners that have signed up with us. Baraka FM is about you. We are the leading regional media in the coast and we are about meeting your needs. As our listener, as our advertiser, as our business partner, we are here to meet your needs and to help you achieve your objectives. Station Bomba Zaidi Pwani, Baraka FM 95.5.